Hello. Come on, sugar. Hi. Hi. Oh, I ring the bell. I guess you didn't hear it. Well, I was having a discussion with your friend here. I guess I didn't. I don't think it was a discussion. It was more like an interrogation. Uh-huh. Well, uh, I think I'm going to take BJ and get out of here while the getting's good. See you later. Does Charlene suspect something? No, I just, you know, I'm edgy, and I guess she picked up on it. I couldn't say anything about this last night because Colton was there, but I saw you leave with Robert and Sean. Did that have something to do with Frisco? And what would give you an idea like that? Because you are edgy. Why does everybody think that if I'm upset or anything, it has to do with Frisco? Tell me. Tell me the truth. What's going on? Disappeared. You, you've lost contact with him? He's vanished. I mean, I know he can take care of himself, but I'm worried. You have a good reason to worry. Can I use your phone? Sure. Who are you going to call? Robert and Tom. Let's see if they know anything. Please ask Commissioner Scorpio to call me here as soon as possible. Thank you. They still won't put me through to him. Well, if Robert knew anything about Frisco, he'd call well, it would make me feel a lot better if I could talk hey, to you. Hey, believe me, you'd make me feel a lot better. Are you sure you're telling me everything? How sure do I have to be? Tell me, tell me. What? Tell me everything. I'm not supposed to tell you anything. You know, you might as well know this whole story. Yeah, I'd like that, please. When I was down on the docks for the celebration, Robert and Sean and I went down to the catacombs to look for Frisco. And you found him down there? No, we found out where he was staying, though. And according to Robert and Sean, from what they could see, it was a mess. It was a, a shambles. You mean there'd been some kind of struggle or something? That was our first thought. We also looked for Mouse, Frisco's friend, and she wasn't to be found either. What if Domino found him? first thought. There's just no way to know this stuff. You know, it's driving me crazy. I sit around, I think, I worry about him. I, there, there's no word, there's no indication of... Look, Robert said that if he's out there, he'll find him. That's what I have to hope for. That's what we both have to hope for. Sean stayed in the catacombs in case Frisco comes back there. Robert's at the bus stations, he's at the airports, he's checking everything else out. Well, where's Domino? Nobody knows. And his plane's not there either, so it's... You know, we can't jump to conclusions here. Frisco may have, he may have just found a new hiding place or something. Do you believe that? I have to believe it. I just wish I could do something about this. Does Anna know that Frisco's missing? No, Robert, Sean, we all agreed that we wouldn't say anything until we... knew something. Tony, I'm sorry I'm being so selfish about my own problems with this. That's I'm not so even much. thinking about that you're his brother and that you love him. I wish I did love him so much. You know, he came back to me. And I saw him. I mean, I, I, I saw shadows. It was dim, but the way he stood there, I knew it was him. And now I... All I want to do is, is to see him clearly, to stand in front of him, face to face, brother to brother, and for us to truly see each other again. You know, I would give that up, though. I would give it all up if I just get him back alive. One question. Did Frisco leave Port Charles? Or did Domino find him? No. As soon as I find out, I'll let you know. I'd appreciate it. So Sean is watching the catacombs, and Robert is watching the bus station at the airport. Well, anywhere else Frisco might be. He's still here in Port Charles. I'll find him. Tony's very worried about him. Of course he is. Yeah. What are you... Oh. This puts 
in such a difficult situation. What do you mean? When I saw Frisco, I, um, we talked about... I said to him I didn't think that I could get involved with you making any decisions. Do I have to make a decision? You know you do. You have to decide what's going to happen. Colton and I are legally married. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I'm not worried about Frisco because I am. He was an important part in my life. An important part of your life? Well, I... I still worry about you him. You should worry about him. We all should. Domino is a very powerful man. Powerful enough to keep Frisco in prison for a year and a half while we all believe that he was dead. If he ever finds out he's alive. Frisco's a walking target. He'll be all right, though. If he's come this far, he'll be all right. Why do I have to worry about this? I'm married to Colton now. Why did Frisco have to come back into our lives and disrupt everything? Well, he's doing that to all of us, Felicia. And you can't really discard someone that was such an important part of your life, as you put it. That man is a part of you forever. Even if he's just a memory. You don't realize how lucky you are. Lucky? You should try telling Colton that. Well, you can understand how Colton feels. He's upset. He's, he's crazy. I'm walking on a tightrope here. Then you can't blame Frisco for that. Frisco came back to Port Giles just to get a part of his life. And, I mean, you can't blame him for it. He has a right to it. <laughs> what about our rights? situation but something has to be done maybe if you just remember that no one is in the wrong Frisco is that he's safe. That's all any of us can do.